Hi. Uh, a reader at Color Log actually asked how would one paint Homer Simpson. Uh, Homer Simpson is a cartoon and so we will try doing the artwork as a cell style shading. So I fire up the GIMP and I start a new, add a new layer actually, a rough sketch layer. So once I have that, I start blocking out the rough shapes of Homer Simpson. He's got like a cylindrical head. So let me do that. Uh, I like he's got a pretty blocked out jaw area. He always wears a white shirt, so let me There we go A uh, little bit of his hand uh, This doesn't look right. Uh, that's the reason we are actually sketching this so that we get the basic shapes right before we actually spend time on creating a neat line art you don't want to be doing spending some effort into creating a line art and then have to delete it later And his ears is quite simple, just an oval shape there. Uh, he's just got two strands of hair at the top of his head. And M shaped bunch of hairs near his ear. Let me finish off his mouth. Okay, now that I'm done with the basic sketch here, what I do is I create another layer over the sketch layer call and call it line art. The sketch layer, I make it about transparent. Just make 30% of it show. So on the line art layer, what I do is before I start drawing clean line art, I since it's a cartoon I switch off the opacity in the pressure sensitivity settings of the tablet after that let me just check that yep that looks good okay Now here I'm using the underneath sketch layer, using that as a guide and drawing my line art. Now because I've already sketched out the major proportion, I needn't worry about it going off proportions when I focus on the details. 
There we go. the ear the neck the collar of his shirt a little bit of his shoulders now what I really like to do with line arts is make their outer edges fatter than the inner ones that way it kind of pops out There we go. Now you see, you, you can notice that it sort of pops out and it's quite pleasant. And his eyeballs. And before I forget, let me put all the strands of hair. And there we have it. Uh, next we'll look at how we color Homer Simpson. So before I do that, let me just save it so that I don't lose my work. 